Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you how to compare two lists in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to show you two different ways. The first way is conditional formatting. So let's go ahead and do that. I have a master list in column A and I have new list in column B. This could be customers, employees, I don't care. I want to see who is in the new list that's already in the master list. So I'm going to highlight the names in the master list, go to conditional formatting, create a new rule, and you have to use a formula to do this, and I'm going to use the count if function in Excel, so equals count if, and our range is going to be B2 through B, uh, tell what I'm going to run it through B10, even though there's nothing there, and you want to make it absolute reference, and then you're going to do a comma, and you're going to do A2, and you're going to make that mix reference. So that dollar sign A, meaning I'm only looking in column A, and I'm going to go down row 2, 3, 4, 5. Go to the word format. Pick a color. I'm going to use yellow. Click OK. Click OK. And if you look over here, Chris is in the new list, but I'm already in the master list, and so is John. Let's test this. Let's put in uh, Mark. Mark gets highlighted. Watch what happens when I type in Carol over in column A. There you go. So one more time, that was this conditional formatting. That's what I did right there to make that happen. Now the second way, I'm going to go ahead and delete that now, is I actually want to see it over here. So I'm going to still use count if. So I'm going to do count if. And I'm going to highlight A2 to A10, make that absolute reference, comma, and it's going to be B2, and once again, that's going to be mixed. I should get a zero because Nancy is not over here. So now I'm doing it slightly different. I'm going to pull this down. I hope Chris gets the number one, and so does John, Mark, and Carol, but let's change Carol to Tim. So what I could do is come over here and label this and sort this and then quickly highlight the names and put them over into A. So there's two, way to two ways to compare two lists in Microsoft Excel. Thank you.